Okay, guys. Like I said before in our intro, we just got done with two two, two stands. The second one is the one we've seen uh, the coyotes on. But this is what I have set up. I have my remote control coyote decoy that I that I made. It's on the on the web page. Okay, I apologize for the wind, but I can't help it. What I'm talking about right here is I just showed you my decoy and my crow decoys. The crow decoys are confidence boosters. You set them up and then they see them crows and they know that nothing's going to be wrong. Then I talk about my calls. I have a mad howler and that, that red rabbit distress call. I can't remember where it's from. I bought it many years ago. Then I have a Primo's little dog and that's what I use to call in those coyotes. And I'm just talking about how I used it. I used a rabbit distress call and then I used a, a bird in distress on the very first set but nothing came in. And then it gets better so I'm going to go back into it. And then we moved, we didn't get any action there, we stayed there probably about half an hour, 35 minutes, something like that. And then we headed down to uh, um, probably about 150 yards down this little ridge, and that's where we called in. I just used this and did a rabbit stress, and I called in those two cars. They came in, like I said, bolted in there, and then they bolted right out. And my buddy took two shots at them, but we couldn't, we, we couldn't get them. So I couldn't get a clear shot, and he couldn't. Uh, he couldn't put the beat on uh, quick enough there, way out there. But right now he's going to be uh, siding it or shooting his gun, making sure it's on, just because we want to make sure before we go out to this next time. Like we said, we couldn't find any blood or nothing, but we want to be you know, as humane as we can. So he's going to be shooting his gun uh, right now, making sure it's still on. That's so what we're doing right now. Right, right here is the third set and what I'm showing you I have the camera towards turned towards me so you can see the techniques I use for calling and then I would pan it out and hopefully see the coyote or the predator that I call in but right here I'm going to show you I don't even have time to do this so you'll see here in a little bit check it out My bad, dude. You get it? Yeah. See him? Can you shoot him? No, he's not. Red fox. Hey, stay down.
box. Post shot about 75 yards. First shot was about 50. Right here, we can hear something trying to crawl through leaves or come under a fence or something. There is a fence right in front of us, so I pan the camera over and I try to find it, but I can't see anything. And then we wait a little bit, and then all of a sudden, something takes off from directly behind us, probably about 12 yards away, and runs back the way that it, it came from. So it was a coyote that came in underneath the fence, came in behind us, and then took off running in the other direction. Thank you. 